Right, Thursday evening, instalment number four. We've planted up the old filters for the pond. So that's an area, a planting area at the back there. We'll have a closer look at that first. We'll go through the plants we've got in there. So, nothing amazing at the moment. No plant looks particularly good after it's been pulled about and potted up and or unpotted and whatnot. But what we have got is uh, some Colocatio escalente. We've got some of this um, bamboo reed type stuff at the back. So we've got two clumps in each planter of that. Um, so basically we've mirrored it so we'll start from the middle we'll go to the outside actually it might be easier so it's exactly the same on this side it is this side so a bit of, bit of symmetry so obviously we've got the sago palm in the middle there and we've got a small white bird of paradise we've got some virginia for evergreen interest so the leaves get fairly big on these some people do call them elephant ears even though really I call colocasia elephant ears but that's neither here nor there um, we've got giant bird of paradise canna canna intica that's the, the green form so this is a uh, reasonable size leaves on these and they get quite tall um, again, Colocasio escalente, so the canners obviously and the escalente will die down, but everything in it is, is, is hardy for me, so I'll, I won't be digging anything out, that's, that's going to be there all the time. Um, other than the, the white bird of paradise, which is in a pot, which I'll just bring in. Yeah, so evergreen, the, uh, the bamboo type reed is evergreen so that's a bit of you know year-round interest and then we've got in the summer you know the tropical burst with the, the cannas and the colocations and we've got some cacosmia there which is looking a little bit rough so again so that you know once this fills out that, that might hopefully look quite nice um yeah so as regards to moved a couple of big bigger pot plants in here so we've got two at the back got two midsection and then we've got two at this end the steps end um yes yeah, so we talked about the flamethrower palm last night i potted this up so this is the uh tree tomato in fact i've got the pot for here so but yeah these uh i always uh like to have one of these on the go over the summer this is putting on some good growth you know good sized leaves and then you get the uh tomato like fruits that which are edible um pot is a bit mucky but that's what that is um, yeah I, I think they're quite nice plants so that'll uh, sit there in the corner so at the other end we've got a uh, king palm right in the right hand top corner left hand top corner We've got a Tetrapanix, so that is a Rex. Um, yeah, that's 40 quid. I, I didn't, weren't going to go and buy one, but someone picked it up for me because they knew my, my Tetrapanix weren't 
doing so well this year it's going to be slow to get any size on it so i was happy to, to give them the 40 quid for that um yeah reasonable size plant for that money um i'm guessing even that's in quite a tall pot but that's nearly five foot leaves aren't massive but they're they're getting there they're doing well and we've got which i haven't done an update on this year but we call this the update this is the uh Cyathera, Cyathera cuberi and this was when the uh, polytunnel polytunnel was down here um i kept this plant in the polytunnel and that lost all its leaves they just browned off and this went so this was just a just a little stub of a trunk at the beginning of the year so it's, that's done well to flush back you know it's, it's doing doing its thing it's got some reasonably big, big leaves on it um looking okay still lots of crozies to uh, open up there so we'll see how they do but yeah it's uh seem to be opening up all the time it's not like the dixonia antarctica where it sort of does one main flush and maybe you get a second one sort of mid late summer this this you know just does one or two leaves at a time and uh yeah so you're getting constant growth throughout the year so that's quite interesting um yeah so that is the update i mean so basically what the idea is where we've got this black strip down the side that that is just going to be at some point have lots of either i'm going to get uh trough pots or just lots of little pots with plants in and we'll we'll fill up the side strips with the uh, the smaller plants and that but yeah so we've got sort of matching pots as it were not quite the same colour, some of them, but the same style of pots for the six big plants. Um, so, yes, coming on, but yeah, like I say, I was doing this sort of planting this morning and just uh, testing some plants around the edges as well. So, we've got this uh, like papyrus grass here and we've got small chef lera taiwaniana and a bit of a rough looking phoenix robolini but um yeah i mean it's, it's early days things can can only pick up and look better throughout the summer um so that aside i did have a little bit of an interesting development because I, I sort of kept everyone updated on the palm situation with a lot of the smaller palms we had spear pools on a, a lot of them and in general we've just about had all of them come back apart from the the power bay which we're still waiting for but one i sort of forgot about because i didn't even consider the fact that might come back is the canariensis at the back here and if i can Wipe my way through some of the other plants. So we, we had a, well, we still have got a canariensis here, and it totally spear pulled. All but two of the outer leaves totally browned off. But um, yeah, I just noticed that we've got some uh, regrowth in the centre there, and albeit a couple of them are deformed, but there's actually three spears pushing out. So. I'll give you a little bit of a close-up. And to be honest, I just noticed it today because I ain't been looking for it because I thought it was a goner. But yeah, never, never discount phoenix canariensis because they are quite tough even if they spear pull they do generally come back i always go back to the uh the big one at the bottom here that spear pulled and uh came back strong after that 
so yeah i mean let us know if you had uh, spear pulls on your phoenix canary answers and, and they're starting to make a comeback that's interesting and maybe also what you know what part of the country you're in to see what sort of uh the chances are of growing them in certain areas um yes and finally i got the uh superstar in the ground at long last um yeah so this is i don't know what half seven in the evening a bit cooler than it was last night so yeah there's no sun this has disappeared behind the trees now but yeah still a, a pleasant evening we had a bit of rain this morning not nowhere near enough I know some places had a decent amount, up to half an inch, but we had sort of drizzle on and off all morning, but no, it's only enough to wet the surface, it didn't go anywhere. So that was a bit disappointing, I was hoping for a, a decent decent amount of rain. Right, let's finish up on this then. So this is the boot year odor art we brought last year. So it probably went in about this time last year. And uh, this year, Let's open this big spear at the back here, which is quite impressive, it's quite big, um, well over six foot, that one. This one is in the process of opening up. And there's obviously another one behind that as well. So yeah, that seems to be doing quite well. Considering that's only sort of been, you know, reasonably warm stroke hot for the last couple of weeks that horrible start to the to the spring and summer it's not really hindered it too much and a similar story with the the other boot year odorata i brought um again several several spears not quite as advanced in the stages of open up as the one we just looked at but there's still three three spears in the process are opening up there and uh yeah and they do vary a heck of a lot because uh, if you look at how tight that curl is that back would curl on on this plant and it's not a one-off they're, they're all all the leaves uh, got that real steep curve to them Whereas the uh, one this side is a lot, lot more of a gentle curve, and I'm not sure which one I like better. The gentle curve, or the uh, steeper. I think that'll change by the day and. I, you know, like a lot of things, you'll walk through the garden today, you know, that's my favourite plant, tomorrow that'll be something else, you know, it's just one of them things. Right, let's leave it there, and thanks for watching.